Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can add a camera shake effect inside of DaVinci Resolve 15 very easily, and also where you can find a bunch of other cool effects which can get you going on your video project. So inside of DaVinci Resolve, you're going to have your clips over here in the Edit tab, and what you're going to want to open, if you haven't already, is the Effects Library. You can do that over here in the top left-hand corner, clicking that, and you'll see three sections here, the Toolbox, which is mostly for things like titles and transitions and open effects open effects which is for anything visual and then audio effects obviously effects for your audio so we want open effects down here and if we scroll down here to the bottom we'll find one called camera shake I believe this only exists in DaVinci Resolve 15 so if you're still working on 14 you may want to go ahead and update now anyway to add this effect, all we need to do is drag the camera shake over to the clip that we want it to shake on, drop it in, and what we should see happen in the inspector, top right hand corner, click it if you don't already have it open, is a open effects tab will appear between video and audio. So in this open effects tab, we get a whole bunch of controls that we can set up to control how this camera shake is going to look. You can also do keyframes if you need anything to change over time. Um, such as with pan amplitude. If you want it to be shaking further to the left and the right over time, then you could do something like come in here to the end, increase the pan amplitude, add a keyframe in, go back to the start, lower that down, and uh, whenever you change the value and you already have one keyframe, it'll automatically create the second keyframe. So now if we scroll between these two points, we can see the amplitude increase over time. Uh, you don't have to use keyframes, you could also just adjust the setting for everywhere in the clip. So I could turn off the tilt amplitude if I don't want it to shake up and down at all. Or I could increase it if I want it to shake up and down a lot. But I don't think we want that. So I'm going to take my tilt amplitude and set that to zero pretty much. And let's go ahead and hit play and see how this effect looks. So over time it's going to be shaking further to the left and further to the right. Kind of like an earthquake effect. And obviously there's a bunch more settings you can play around here with, but uh, that's the basic idea there of how you can add in a camera shake. Feel free to play around with all the other settings here. And if you are curious about where you could find similar effects, once again, go back to the effects library, open effects, and you'll see a bunch in here. So things like adding ripples to a clip, if you want something visual to change there, you can add that in and you can have the settings animate over time using keyframes. So that's just a basic idea of how you add in camera shake and how you use visual effects inside of DaVinci Resolve 15. I hope that this brief tutorial has been helpful for you guys and I will see you guys in my future video content.